and we are live. Hi. So, hello, <laughs> greetings from the UK to St. Petersburg. <laughs> Good <laughs> evening, <laughs> Olga. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so super excited, and to everybody that's here, we are going to wait for people to get on and then we can do the introductions i'm so looking forward to speak about this collection and i have favorites already so yeah. i want to see do we have the same favorites because we haven't discussed this so everything that we are going to talk about everyone is going to be getting everything firsthand just the same as we are going to because we both have not discussed this collection so i'm looking forward to this and i see we do have some people in the chat there's uh alicia in this sense there's jesse and good evening everybody thank you so much for joining us we are here to have some fun and talk about some new fragrances from a house out of Russia, Brocard's perfume, and who else to be talking about these fragrances than the Serena herself? She's the Russian fragrance expert. You guys, I'm not kidding. And actually, if you are new to my channel or you haven't caught up on things I did last year or yesteryear, go back, have a look in vlogs. So I have videos when we've gone uh, to London sampling Russian fragrances. So I'm quite excited. I'm rambling already, so <laughs> good evening, John. Everyone in the chat, let's welcome my dearly beloved frog friend, my frog sister, Olga, the Russian queen. <laughs> Serena, <laughs> your highness, would you like to introduce yourself to the audience? Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> well, not, oh my God. <laughs> I, I think I, I need to speak my best posh English now. <laughs> Is there any posh Russian? Russian? <laughs> well, and uh, until spring that we can speak, and I'm so far away from you, um, and I am literally in Saint Petersburg, believe it or not. <laughs> but it's great that we can connect I do. and we can have fragrances. Absolutely. Well, Olga, even though you are away from London, you've been quite busy going to fragrance in St. Petersburg, I must say, I'm quite jealous because we can't go anywhere. And there you are, you are everywhere. All these fragrances, all these hands. I'm like, I wish. Well, the lockdown <laughs> So is John like is here as well. Yeah. Wow. Uh, um, everything is open. It's it's wow. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Well, yeah. So we've got the Legema in the house, Barry is here, the Centurize, John is here, two of my favorite queens. Well, hello, John. We are grateful to have you here. Paul is here and Carino is here. He says, hello, your majesty, Maya and queen. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Carino. Good evening. And can you believe she did take me in that case? But I know this this is exactly what I would have wished for as well, John. So it's lovely everybody's here. So let us do this. And, and I think John have sampled some of this collection, if not, or if I'm not mistaken. So Olga, first of all, when you sent me these samples, you said you thought there was one you thought this would be my favorite. Which one did you think? Tell me. Mm -hmm. And we'll see. Anyway. But you can tell, we can speak about that because I, I know I've got that answer, but we'll find out <laughs> if you got it right or not. Where shall we start from with the samples? Well, yes, um, thanks. I think that this collection starts with a very light uh, bergamot um, fragrances, uh, which we yeah. can call classically male fragrances, like male colognes and they become more complex fruitier and sweeter uh yeah. as the color goes exactly as the color goes so this is the collection from 2020 
and uh, there are six colors, not seven like in the ra rainbow. But anyway, yeah. I think the, the, we are missing the light blue from the rainbow. Uh, but the rest of the colors are in here. Uh, well, I suppose I've, we can... I've got, got six. six. So, yeah, I've got six it. of them, Olga. So I've got, yeah. I've got yeah, the six. So we've got blue. Where shall we start? Um, how about blue? Because I suppose blue is the lightest uh, of the fragrances. Let's pray. Like let's yeah. let, let's see what we think about it. Hmm. You first. <laughs> I did little sniffles, and um, this is a look, look at color. what she's showing, and this is what I've got to show off for. <laughs> <laughs> You're just showing up now. <laughs> I've got plenty it's of all right. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, hmm. She says. I'm going on my paper spray. Where is the camera? I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm spraying it on here. Um, it's oh. actually very, very present, isn't it? Isn't it, Olga? Yes. Um, it's nice. It's very ozonic, slight aquatic, but lovely, fresh, very, very nice. Yeah, it's, um, as okay. you can see, the whole selection is called in the, um, so the spelling is American, color filling. Um, yes. Uh, it's by Brocard, as you can see. Uh, they pr pronounce it in the French way as the surname Brocard. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's called Blue. So, and it smells yeah. like blue. <laughs> right? It's really it does, simple. It does smell like blue. It, to, me, to me, this. Uh, this Yes. I didn't hear that, Olga. Uh, I can only add that in the best Russian tradition of um, local perfumery, all the perfumes are made yes. by foreigners. <laughs> Olga, I don't know what's going on, but I feel like you are cutting off. Yes. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me clearly? I can hear you now, but there are times when it seems to be cutting off. Just uh, tell me to repeat the sentence. I will repeat it. So okay. the, the, perfuma, the perfuma of blue is uh, Jule Pasto. Yeah. And the, uh, the notes are Neroli. They call it sea yeah. notes. Or ocean, ocean notes, oceanic notes. Um, oceanic notes, yeah. Lavender. It's all, yes, got some lavender, and as well, it's got some incense. And patchouli. Even and though sandal. the incense in this is not, there is some sandalwood and sedge, as well. There is some sandalwood and sedge as well well it is a typical as uh, this is a very typical i would say it's a marine fougere marine fougere very typical of uh, like almost like old style english and i'll be honest Olga, when i sampled this first thing i thought of was something i've smelled similar maybe from floris or not i can remember but most likely maybe like floris those fougere it just gives you that feel like that yes like the main fragrance you know lovely fougere it's a lovely very present very lovely you know yeah gorgeous it's stuff typical, typical uh, gentleman gentleman's cologne isn't it yes and the absolutely. bottle absolutely yes yes it's lovely just lovely blue yes gorgeous um let's move on to the next one mm-hmm which let's would you like to Go for green. Shall we go for green? The green yes. one. 
Let's spray green. I saw uh, John um, John's post about the green fragrance, and I think John, you loved it, yeah. right? Oh, it's gorgeous! It, it's nice. It's it's nice gross. green. It's got a little sweetness to it as well, like, almost like fresh uh, grass as well. Oh, look at those bottles, gorgeous. Yeah, and Joy is saying good atomizer on them. Well done. I'm yet to get my bottles. I'm, I've just got these. <laughs> I hear you. When, when, when Olga is coming, Olga, you know the deal when coming back. You have to bring half of the Russian fragrances back. <laughs> I can see it, Kate. <laughs> yeah. And um, by yes. the way, yes. it, it sounds really gorgeous yes. because. It, it was made by Bertrand de Chauffour. Say that again. It's by Bertrand de Chauffour. So it's a big name. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He is. And, he is. And he's you, you done quite a lot of. Uh, it's lovely, this one. Yeah, John, don't this confirm. Is lovely. Yeah, so what we this can... green one again, it's got. Say that again. Um, I was just going to read the notes. Okay. Do you want uh, to read them? Shall I read them? I've got the notes. Yeah. If you want to. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Right. So in the in the in the green, we do have. Um, uh, it's uh, there's some grass. There's uh, ozonic notes. There's also atomizer, and we've got the heights as well. It's also got nutmeg, some bergamot, cedar, and violet, uh, as well as sandalwood. I'll be honest with you. The nutmeg in here, to my nose, it's not very prominent, is it? I don't pick no, no. it out much. I don't not very no. prominent but no. i do pick up yes the ozonic knots i pick those up as well and how the heights in here again quite subdued they are kind of in the background they are not True. like in your face yeah. and i feel like all the knots were quite evenly balanced it's not like one is so overpowering the other they are all like uh, just there uh, um enough without being too much this is lovely it's got yeah. a bit of a dryness to it as well I isn't it, a a bit of a a in it. yeah there should be galbanum in it so it's and um and grassy uh and, and again you can call yes. it a gentleman's cologne more than a <laughs> lady's perfume no not definitely more Oh, this man will enjoy it much more. And it's the kind of lovely freshness, you know, you expect on a man, especially like spring, summer. You just want, you know, where he's feeling lovely, fresh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fresh man. Yeah, that, yeah. Really? That's, okay. that's, that's it. A, a well put together, lovely uh, smelling man. And um, Paul says, <laughs> interesting that the fragrance bottle color matches the scent profile. They do. This sounds yeah. like a nice blend. Oh. Yes, yeah, it's very nice. Let's ask. It's very playful. Uh, Mia, uh, what do you think about huh? asking? What do you think about asking the audience what the next perfume would smell like? Because there is a, a very, very um, close connection between the color and the fragrance. So let's see yellow. Absolutely. And yeah, yeah. Right. Hello. Um, smell like. Don't don't pick the the notes <laughs> in Fragrantica, <laughs> please. <laughs> so, close. how can it smell? <laughs> be be truthful. Okay. Yes. So, like, when you see the color yellow, what kind of things come to mind? mind what do you expect would be in it? What what things come to mind? Uh, Paul says custard. And uh, Karina is saying that um, 
Yell of uh, sunshine. So lovely answers still. Those are things we all do tend to associate with yellow. I do myself. Well, I've not tried them, so I'll not be. <laughs> yeah, John, of course not. Um, Karina Welcome. says bergamot, I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Ilang and sunshine. Yeah, Ilang, Ilang. When you see Ilang, Ilang, definitely yellow comes to mind. And yes, uh, Karina is saying uh, happiness. John is saying lemon, sunshine, big uh, bright citrus. Bright citrus, definitely you would think about. All these are very good answers and things that we definitely would associate. Um, yellow portion, not get. How lovely to see you. So thank you so much for tuning in. So um we are sampling the brocard collection as you can imagine. Oh guys, the bottles, I have the samples, and at the moment we sampled green and we've sampled uh, the color as well we've sampled blue and we are gonna sample yellow but we were just asking before we talk about it what would you associate with the color yellow if you smell it like what things come to mind so it smells of strawberries <laughs> Oh, Stop it, John. Yeah, yes. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, it's never too late. John Paul. <laughs> anyway, carrying on. I'm going to spray it now. So. Uh, Sue says she does think of mimosa instantly. So that, that is another one um, to think yeah. of. And obviously, John is naughty. It would not be John, and it wouldn't be fun if there's no naughtiness involved. <laughs> I'm going in. Okay, I'm going to spray the yellow on my skin. I don't even have space on my skin. Everything is taken. So everybody was talking about it, having mimosa, some oranges, uh, hilang, hilang, citrus things, uh, sunshine. We know it won't have sunshine because I don't know how they would do that capture <laughs> sunshine. But it is lovely, isn't it? It is gorgeous and it is, well, I think it made me think about fruits more than flowers. But it um, does. It's it does. Of melon, maybe melon and, um, and mandarin or melon. It's and, lovely uh, fresh. It's lovely really fresh, yeah. Some definitely like some, some, some mandarin. So maybe maybe even like an orange, but not the not the not like the peel, but more like the juicy orange. But it's quite lovely, fresh, and very summery. Spring, summer, this is perfect. Ah. It, it also it also gave me the the feeling of like, like being on the beach, you know, like in summer, you know, imagine a holiday on the beach and there is this guy with a tray, you know, of fruits trying to make like cock there's melons, you know, there's some uh, mandarins or tangerines, that vibe I got from it, but it's so lovely, so lovely, and they are sweet as well, like sweet fruits. I would mm. imagine there might be even some berries in here. It's just lovely, lovely. It just takes you, it's a very happy fragrance, takes you happy. to a really happy yeah. place, like everybody is happy, thinking very happy. Of yellow as a happy color, so this is a happy, very happy fragrance. It is, yes, it is. Yeah. So, Fruit but we, sunshine, yeah, absolutely, we summer. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm reading the notes and we do have uh, yeah. lemon and orange here, but uh, must exactly. well, yeah. have, uh, tonka beans as well as oak moss. Yeah. This is funny. Amber. Oak moss. I don't yeah. pick that up. I don't yeah. pick oak and moss at all. As no. well. Maybe later on in the dry down, Olga, but not just yet. I don't pick it up just yet. Uh, Rather, I'm not picking it up. Huh? And they also also mentioned they also mentioned daffodils as the note. Lovely. Oh, lovely. When you see daffodil, you know spring is in the air and it's just gorgeous. Exactly. Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. Oh, Luke is in the house. Hey, lovely people. I'm sorry. You are not late at all, Anjam. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. You are not late at all. You are bang on time. We've sampled the three fragrances so far, and I know you've sampled this. So we're going to go on to the color. Ah, I see. Uh -huh. I see, Olga, you did dress up for the occasion. I tried. I can't even see my colors anymore, but I did have lots oh, of the nice. colors that we are talking about. <laughs> yes, okay. daffodils. Wow. Oh my goodness me! Just, just to, just to divert from the current subject at hand, we went out to the park, and oh my gosh, sea beds of daffodils, sea beds of lovely beautiful flowers in all colors yellow purple i took so many pictures but i haven't even had a chance to share but gorgeous stuff it just just, just made me so happy <laughs> so happy and um kai is saying daffodils in house well done olga absolutely she's well, going yeah. off <laughs> kids kids bring the bag of daffodils <laughs> I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't. <laughs> they may just show up. <laughs> you, have outside. you have them in the gardens. There are no daffodils in the gardens right now in St. Petersburg. Just, um, just snow. Uh, so it's so lovely to have some yeah, daffodils. Because it's still, it's still snow. Yeah. Exactly. They are everywhere now, and it's just beautiful. So beautiful. I love spring because that just the symbolism like oh new life and it's just everywhere like new life it's just amazing and um yeah we've got uh sam in the house hi sam good evening it is evening isn't it hi hi smiling ladies thank you sam good evening thank you for joining us and yes we're gonna have vodka like you <laughs> John, happy girls. Smiley girls are happy girls. Happy girls are smiley girls. No vodka involved. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> After. <laughs> I'll call you later. <laughs> yeah. John, you make me laugh. Anyway, so the color yellow ogre. Uh, I must tell you, is one of my favorites. And definitely a bottle of this one is in order. But then I just want to, oh, the bottles. Because <laughs> they make such a lovely, just a lovely line of beautifulness. And why not? Why not? So, yeah. Anyway, moving along. What color shall we sample next, guys? Let the audience decide what color do you want to see next uh so we have uh, oh, wow. purple we have uh, red and orange. we have orange yes. so which one okay. which one would you like the audience can decide which one they want to see next yes anyone maybe red I don't know if that's working. 
Red. Okay. I I asked you red. Uh, Sue says red. Karina says orange. Okay, red will be. Who gives so, more? John, you are jumping on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> of course, John, you knew I would say that. But if I'm being honest, there is red and there is purple. They are both my favorite colors. So, okay, so far red is winning. So let's go with red, shall we? Red. So let's red. go. With with red. Let's oh, go with red. gorgeous. The bottles are awesome. Okay, before we before we tell you what this smells like, what comes to mind when you think about the red fragrance or even just red the color like what should it smell like? And no blood, please. <laughs> no red nose. No blood. Please. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so, um, violet, purple. Mm. Red. <laughs> John, I red thought is so. winning. I thought so. I thought that red would be Mia's favorite, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure now. Oh, a Ferrari is seeing red, red wine. Yes, wine. please. Wine. Oh, that would be lovely. I would love it to smell like red wine. That's it. Red roses. Everyone is. Mm. No, there is no anger here. <laughs> Spicy, no. yes. Red roses. Yes. I, I think that if Cherry it was, red. yeah, if it was a perfume, it could really smell like wine or maybe dark, um, uh, dark roses. But it's a uh, eau de toilette yeah. anyway, so it should be yeah. quite light. Mind you, this is a this this is a shipra, so. This is a fruity ship, right, isn't it? Yeah, it's yes, um, and it was made okay. by um, Jorge Guerrero. Uh, Guerrero, sorry. Yeah. Guerrero. Oh, so so sorry. So sorry, Jorge. So it's Jorge Guerrero. It's the kind of names Oga I choose not to pronounce. Rather, just write <laughs> it on screen. <laughs> I was I was so sure that I would make it, but I'm not. But and 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 another thing, you say Hoge. I was pronouncing him as Jog, Jog. Stop Jog, it! Jog, Stop uh, it. Jog. Oh, I'm gonna write to the name here. Just. Uh, uh, by the way, we didn't mention the perfumer for the uh, for the yellow perfume, and um, I did think we not? No, no, no. Uh, it's um, uh, uh, Wei Ling Ping. Wei Ling Ping. I I looked uh, yeah. I looked for his name, but couldn't find a lot. So I suppose it's a young perfumer, not like Bertrand de Chauffour, of course. So. Uh, this oh. is the collaboration between different different perfumers of uh, yeah, different experience, I would say. I think so, yeah. But all in no, this is a lovely fragrance. This is a lovely fragrance, and I, I quite like it uh, a lot. And it's like a little cherry, just lovely fruity. It's a ship, so ship right. It's got some connection, and, and this is meant to have amber. But I'll be honest with you, I don't pick out amber that much. At least I not. Licorice. Yeah, no amber, but I do feel some licorice in it. So it's kind of a bitter. Mm. Yeah. Can you feel that? I, I get like a berry, just some berry and. There's meant to be pink peppers as well. Mm. I want to smell it on skin. I'm going to go on skin somewhere here. Just right here where I've got a bit of... Mm. 
Because sometimes, you know how they smell on paper and on you, it can be a bit different. I don't think it's, has it got any liqueur? Um, I, I don't pick that up. Unfortunately, no. It's got a no. blood orange. Right. It's got the blood orange and that's really lovely citrus. Just, just lovely. It is lovely friends. And okay, you said you thought I would like this. I do like this definitely. And do you like it more than others? I, I will tell you I like this, but there is another one, the one I told you, and there is another one yet we're gonna smell it. And um cherry liquor, no. <laughs> no, Cherry liquor, uh, liquor would be very nice for a perfume. So this is lighter. It would be this very is... nice. But yeah. this, yes, because it's an EDT, and you can even feel that this is an EDT, isn't it, Olga? Yes. You can yes. feel that definitely it's an EDT. It's quite lighter, quite airy. But yeah. lovely, lovely. And um, just for everyone uh, watching, in case you are not familiar with these fragrances they smell and it's things that you would expect and as well they are quite affordable they are quite affordable and they ogre and uh, if you were aware ogre is even more affordable <laughs> yes you can find them in uh, one of the perfume shops are we um advertising the perfume shops or we're not advertising perfume shops so if you no, if, no, anyway, we can tell that they can get them at yeah. bloom uh, perfumery. I know yeah. Broom carries them, but I think when I checked online, I think Broom only had maybe one or two in stock. Uh huh. So and I, as well, you can always get them from Uh, I do have some limited, limited, <laughs> limited quantities on my eBay shop, so um, you can check there. Limited and it's my quantity, yeah, but cheaper actually hmm. because I do not have to pay rent. Uh, so it's fine. Uh, you can find some, some from a some. shop. Yeah. So, so for everybody watching, if ever I thought you were interested in trying these fragrances or even any other fragrances out of Russia, you could uh, message. Oh, 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 my on... oh my God! You know me. I'm not going to push off by yourself. Come on. Oh yes, this is oh my god, this is perfect. Yeah, you know that those are it's discontinued. Okay. Yeah, the uh the um the Queen of Spades has been discontinued and the one you have in the gorgeous bottle they have been discontinued. So you are actually the only person in the UK who has them now. Imagine that, yes, this has been discontinued. But it's it's gorgeous, isn't I, it? I Even think is it's a look at that you guys art deco and this is the same brocar and um they made them uh yes. maybe five years ago but then decided to discontinue maybe more hmm, actually more than five years but anyway they have been discontinued and this is and I've this is again one of them yes that's better I still have Isn't one. Isn't she I, gorgeous? Oh yeah, this one is. I think the the um, the bottle is much more interesting than the juice in it, um, but the juice is not bad. It's not bad at all, and it's quite affordable. But you know, Olga, it it is very affordable, and I find they are quite easy. You know, when you're just at home not up to much they are quite nice like that like just to enjoy for yourself that you're wearing something it's not too much it's just perfect it's okay like indoors or just for those days when you want something easy easy going easy to wear nothing complex not, not like that but the gorgeous and my kids are just obsessed with these fragrances especially oh my god this is the apple isn't it the winter apple this is another the one. More. Up and yeah. One more. This is so nice. This is 
<laughs> this is awesome. Yes, this is, this is absolute joy in a bottle, isn't it? It's yeah, so it's fresh. Great. It's like you want to drink it. Like It's like really biting into a fresh green apple. Just so joyful. Right. And it's more, um, it's more um, an aromatherapy, isn't it, than uh, wearing um, luxurious perfume. It's more for yourself to spray it, to smile, it. and go out. Karina is asking, where can you get it? Uh, Karina, you can get them from Olga. Actually, you can uh, check Olga's page. Um, I'm going to type it here. Yeah. You can um, check Olga's uh, page on uh, Facebook a few days. That's yeah. Olga's page, Karina. So you can message her there and she can sort you out. You don't have to pay the price that you pay in broom perfumes and stuff. So, yeah. Yes. I, I hope Blue Perfumer is not listening to us at the moment. No, no message, message her on Facebook. Oh, yes, the Centurion is in the house. Oh, good evening. Thank you for joining us. And, uh, yeah. I see. Okay, I'm just trying to catch up. Um with the comments. Olga, can we get some from you? Buy from Olga. Oh, can I it. Yes. So, yeah. Anjum is, is the best um, advertisement. Absolutely. <laughs> they are beautiful, yes. Catching up. Art Deco, absolutely. Me too, Karina, I love Art Deco. And Sue is saying, you used to have once upon a time aphrodisiac. I nearly picked that up, Olga, didn't I? Uh, I don't know what happened. Um, I will send you a sample. Uh, I I'll think it's all down. Uh, no, the aphrodisiac, yeah. uh, I still have it. Um, and I yeah. think what we had was the sample of Kingdom, because Kingdom is richer. Yeah. There are more berries uh, in it. Um, there is... Um, I suppose there was a uh, laptinum in it, so it, it sounded more interesting. Uh, Aphrodisia yeah. was by, uh, oh, was it by the same Bertrand de Chauffeur? Oh, I, I would need to check it because I think I it think. was, oh no, Maris Roussel. Yes, it was made by Maris Roussel. We did speak about it at, at the Russian. Uh, perfume uh, meeting, didn't we? Yeah. It was one of yeah. the fragrances we spoke about. Right. Moving exactly. along, yeah. shall we go to pepper or orange? What do you guys want to sample next? Pepper or orange? Purple or orange? Which one? Orange. Which one? Which one? Um, no one is uh, deciding yet i think i will say let's go for pepper yes pepper okay let's go with pepper then right so let's try I'm gonna go on my... yeah i'm gonna go on here well it, it's a little bit difficult after red because red was so rich And this is like a punch in your face a bit, isn't it? Yeah, there is something very this sharp is about it. Like that's coming from the combination of the violet and the saffron. Oh my God. I yes, because it smell, smells a little bit like ink, isn't it, Ed? Like very fresh ink. I think maybe a grapefruit as well. It is quite fresh, but like, like dry. That's what I'm, I'm mm -hmm. thinking. Yes, ideally, um, orange, save the, the best to last. <laughs> ideally, um, as you would imagine, um, pepper just evokes that, uh, uh, that loveliness of uh, 
richness, like very luxurious, and obviously, or uh, pepper is usually associated with um, just uh, luxurious, luxurious stuff. You think about the color pepper was used like normally for royalty, special occasions, and oh, things like that. that. And okay. this is uh, quite for you, for you as well. For you as well, I'll spray something on you. <laughs> Like my royal, royal, royal hand. Gorgeous. <laughs> Olga, Olga, you, 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 you need to just be thinking about how are you going to bring all these bottles back, you know? Because this is not how the story ends. <laughs> Next time we talk, they have to be lying up here. <laughs> wow. Gorgeous, isn't it? Well, this is the this is the moment wow. when I'm happy St. Petersburg is not part of Europe because now uh, I think you cannot bring more than uh, you use for your personal um, use um, yeah. or you have to pay 20% on uh, at the customs when you cross the border. Yeah. Uh, so it's not part of Europe, so I can bring as much as um, as I as I want to. Oh, it's 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 much yeah. better on your skin, but yeah. at the beginning, it's yeah. too much alcohol in it because it just it's it's a punch in your nose, isn't it? Too but soft. yeah, this is exactly what I said. Like it really, you oh. can smell a bit of the ethanol, can't you? Like you can smell it. Like it's it kind of the first spray is very very sharp. Like it literally hits you in the face. Literally, like it goes up mm -hmm. your nose, mm -hmm. but um, it is nice. This, I must say, once you get past the initial spray with that punch in your face, it's actually quite luxurious and almost like got quite a bit going on for an EDT. Yes, well, it looks like a very serious um serious fragrance for a serious not not a special occasion but if you need to be quite discreet and um and elegant that would be the perfume it's got a touch of uh lushness to it like just a bit, bit luxurious and i think that's coming from even that saffron i don't know about you but the saffron to me just gives that um aura of richness of uh, luxurious about it and that's what this is it's quite mm -hmm. it's nice like it's a bit more luxurious for example if you compare with the green one which is more like things that you are quite used to etc but this is like i think i feel like this has quite a depth to it as well a bit more it's mm -hmm. quite interesting very interesting it's on here yeah it's it's quite luxurious this is nice they are actually for the price and the okay can you give the audience the price range for these, uh, these fragrances so that people have an idea of um how much uh they it's, are it, yeah it's um so it's 100 100 ml and it's uh, 23 pounds plus postage. It, you can choose between uh, first class signed for or second class signed for, or you can collect it from Archway Station or um, Highgate Station if you are nearby, uh, or you prefer to, to come and collect yeah. in person, it will be, it will be free. Uh, so this is, uh, and there will be, um, extra 10% discount for if you buy more than one. You had it, 10% off for buying more than one bottle and they're only 23 pounds and that's for a hundred mil. I'm gonna indicate it's a hundred mil as well. So they are lovely, easy fragrance just for, you know, when you don't want to take yourself too incredibly serious. Yeah. Very um, nice um, I will also have uh, a discovery set for one and a half uh, ml soon on the eBay page. So if you're curious to try it first, yeah. uh, it, will, it will be really, really affordable and um, it will be soon on eBay. So you can, you can try all of them before making making the choice. 
So these these would be the size you would get. Yeah, it's so they would um, be like a like, ml, but um, it will be uh, one one ml and a half in it, or almost two. Is but that, it, is it, that yeah. yeah yeah. Um, Anjam is asking. Anjam, have you not tried these? I don't know. I thought you have. She's asking, what would you recommend for her? Oh, for Anjam specifically, well, knowing your taste, I think you should try purple and you should try red. Um, they they, uh, have, their, yeah, they right. have this lovely, lovely elegance and bitterness in them that doesn't make them look like something, uh, well... To, to mass market maybe. So I, I think red yeah. and purple will be will be something that you would appreciate. Yeah. I think as well she may like yellow. Well, yellow maybe I for think might take yellow as yeah, well. I would be so curious to see how um how yellow opens on the uh, warmer skin because uh, my skin is, um, well, you, you can see from how shiny I am. So my skin is warm enough. But anyway, yeah. I, am, I am as white as mozzarella. So <laughs> all the uh, perfumes open. <laughs> snow, yeah. snow, <laughs> snowdrop. <laughs> so uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> I would be so curious to know how <laughs> it opens on other skins. Um, it's always um, it's always a discovery. It's always unexpected. So that's I why I, I mean, they, they can it. be so subjective, can't they? Yeah. It's always best to try and even more so to try on your skin to see how it work on your skin because in as much as we might think this smells nice, you put it on skin and because of the skin chemistry, maybe the food you've eaten, etc., that all can influence on how things are going to play out. So that exactly. is definitely something to check, to look into. Yeah. And yeah. Well, what yeah. we discovered no, is uh, maybe it would be maybe the best solution to choose the, uh, the best way to choose the, um, the, the favorite, the most suitable um, fragrance. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, and, and everyone who's here um, watching, if you remember the Begum fragrances we spoke about in the previous live, Anjam is the person to ask uh, to help you if you were interested in those. So this is a uh, page the accolades. You can check her out. Why can't that focus? It's accolade. Cameras are so annoying <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> right, we have one left, and this is orange. So uh -huh. the color orange, again, what things come to mind? How, how do you expect this fragrance to smell? Uh, orange uh, named fragrance, what would you expect? <sighs> <laughs> ah wow this is just oh, oh my god so good. oh guys i'm i'm <laughs> I so good. Good. I just love this i love this fragrance ah this is gorgeous oh, oh my god so this, is this is gorgeous <laughs> this is gorgeous this oh is god. so gorgeous this is absolutely good Gorgeous, isn't it? This is lovely. This is the best. The this best. is really nice. Right? Oh, Look good answers. Oh. <laughs> Your faces say it. Oh, they really do, Karina. Like, literally, that's how it smells. This is lovely. This is so lovely. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I think we have a number one without a doubt. <laughs> Exactly. Without a doubt. I think, Olga, we did save the best for last. We did save the best for last. And 
that and I know in your note you did say you thought I would like uh the red, but then when I smelled this, I was like, Absolutely, like, this is my, my number one. This is gorgeous. This oh, is gorgeous. This is oh, my God. Yes, this is master. yes. Master Perfume. Oh, my God. This yeah, is it's awesome. It's done so. It has been. Oh, I know. Yeah. Because there is mango in it. Lovely. There is mango yes. in it. Yes. There's some orange, obviously. Some orange. There's the citron as well. It's so beautifully done to the point where the orange, the citron, the mango, you would think that it's going to be almost like too sweet, too citrus. It's not. No. It's gorgeous. This is really lovely. It's got some iris as well, giving it not, it's, it's like a hint of powderiness in the back, but like right. I at the back, like really just chilling at the back, like you guys go do your thing. I'm here. I'll just support you. It's really yeah. lovely. That's the, the orange. And oh, that, yeah. um, that, mm -hmm. that's the one I saved to have. Oh, gorgeous. And yes, John was right that we saved the best to last. And Shana says that uh, your excitement is contagious. Ah, oh, thank you, Shana. And uh, Scott, uh, Scott is asking if there's mango. I'm sorry, there is mango. Scott, this is a lovely one. This is a lovely one. Did someone say Iris? I did. Yes, there is some hint of Iris right in there. <laughs> Iris, yes, gorgeous, isn't it? But then the thing is, there are some fragrances when you just, this is nice. This is absolutely stunning. This is the one I think for me is my number one from the house. Does it have amber? It doesn't have amber. It does have amber. It does have amber. So the listed notes with this one from what I could find, we do have orange. There's marigold. There's also Amber, there's some saffron, and as well, there's some mango, there's uh, <laughs> citron, there's some chill pepper, there okay. is cedar, some iris, there is also some sandalwood, patchouli, and there's a cherry as well as rose. So, quite a bit in there, and they all work beautifully. They are quite lovely, aren't they? They are gorgeous. And and Olga yeah. is brilliant. <laughs> Teddy, I would love to. That's I would love to, be, <laughs> to be the owner of the of the company. I would love to. Yeah, Karina. Very soon we'll be introducing a new line of fragrances from Olga. That's why she's in Russia for this long. She, she's cooking. She's cooking something. She's baking something. Soon the baby will be born. Let me change the subject. <laughs> so um, I, was, <laughs> I was just saying that these two are so extraordinary because they were made by an extraordinary perfumer. They are both by Bertrand de Chafour. Both. And you yes. can see how... Let, let how, me write his name. Because, because yes. Oga, Oga, I'm going to write his name here because, um, you know, some of these names are quite hard to pronounce. So you may have been seeing the name and they're like, I can't pronounce the name. I'll just write it on screen and that may be one of them. So I'm going to write oh. his name here, but he's you mean quite the, the, the perfume. And now he's got a lot in his collection, hasn't he? So yes. I'm going to write his name on here. Yeah. You're writing it down, right? Yeah, I'm writing it down now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Olga, you know, with pronouncing these names, that's his name there, so Bertrand de Chaffaut. So, yeah. Oh. Olga is Brocard uh, Ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. You, <laughs> I hope they pick me up on uh, that. Brocard should be dropping in, you know, all this advertising for free. Exactly. <laughs> all this advertising. Oh, and I don't even have the bottles. 
<laughs> well, uh, okay. yes, it, uh, it would have made me a great fan uh, because I started buying their uh, perfumes because I was homesick. And when I saw how yeah. lovely the are and the, the fragrances are, I also became a fan of the of the brand. And uh, I'm also a fan of their Thank prices. <laughs> so all in one, a, just a win-win situation. That's why I love them. They do have uh, quite expensive uh, perfumes as well. And um, yeah. there, there are four four fragrances in the collection, which is called Cosmogony, also by Brocard. Yeah. And the lovely bottles look like a huge heart, uh, crystal, crystal heart. Um, I've, I've seen and, those, yeah. They are more than they more than one hundred and um, thirty or fifty pounds each for one hundred ml. Yeah. So they're quite expensive. Uh, oh, for example, this one, the um, the the Russian princess, the Russian princess is yeah. also in the collection. It's about eighty seven, eighty seven pounds. So it's a little bit cheaper. It's a little bit cheaper here. It's a little bit hard to find. But though. it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's stunning. Yeah. But that's like a signature of theirs, like to make these art yeah. deco bottles. And they're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely yeah. stunning. Look at that cup, you guys. Look at that. I'm trying to focus the camera. Look at that. I think it's quite stunning. But anyway, yes. You can yeah. you can see what it is. So I like they're quite affordable, yeah. and um, um, I like the the way they smell. I think you can you can choose a really you can find a really nice fragrance for yourself, um, or if you like um, something unusual like black currant or winter apple. Yeah. Which is quite uh, more an aromatherapy than a perfume in itself, but we are still staying uh, at home, so it's nice to spray yourself with something nice and gourmetic as well. Yes, I was just gonna say. So this bottle in this collection, they again have different color bottles as you can see, like the collection we were just showing, and this is again a very affordable the orange so in this there's different colors like a lavender there's like an orange there's apples strawberries etc and to be honest they are so fairly priced such that i would recommend someone definitely check them out because they are worth looking into and when you think about the fact that lots of bottles we are in for 100 meals they are in 100 pounds plus and then to think you can get something for 20 pounds 30 pounds or whatever yeah, I don't know about you, but I mean, a uh, uh, fragrance that's well priced. Hell, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> Anything that's good for my bank, I'm interested. <laughs> yes, that's no, it. You wouldn't feel too bad. Like... Yeah, they're very, very nice everyday perfumes. Karina is saying that, uh, Olga, your enthusiasm is lovely to see you live in the U. Yes, Karina, Olga lives here in London. She started to go home for some personal matters to attend to. Otherwise, she's a Londoner. She's very much a Londoner. If yes, she's my frag buddy. So we go shopping together at Javoy Harrods and she does perfume walks as well. So if you'll be interested when things open up, that would be something. So we go around London to all these flag places and sample things and talk um, about and learn about history. So check out um, uh, the vlog on my channel, I have vlogs from Floris. Uh, you can see a bit from their um, perfume museum. Quite interesting and other things we've done at Javoy and Harrods. So they are all here on the channel. Do have a look. And uh, Scott is saying such beautiful bottles. They are beautiful, oh. aren't they? And um, Anjam is saying she does perfume walks on tops. Oh, thank you, Well, Anjam did. <laughs> right. Perfume can change your mood, your mood, Olga, I have found. Absolutely. No, absolutely. 
Absolutely. And even if you have a headache, you yeah. go to a perfume shop and smell some yeah. perfume, the headache disappears. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And your money disappears too, but anyway. <laughs> Um, John, John, uh, John is so loveless. He says, Olga is the last Roman of two. What she doesn't know, what she doesn't know isn't worth knowing, really. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Absolutely. Carty, Carty. That would be amazing. Yes, we are looking forward to this because the last one we didn't even get to go on the tour because it had to mm. be cancelled because of blood lockdowns. So we are looking forward to have to go out again and sample things. And I hope that perfume houses will be anxiously waiting for us to step through those doors and just uh, open. They, they have to even treat us as... I think much more, don't you think? Well, they have to entice us with even more grand things. So anyway, Olga, I don't know how is everyone. Can we speak about a few other fragrances or is everyone okay or is anyone uh, rushing to go? Tell me. Do you have a moment to speak a little bit about a fragrance? I wanted to um, sample, you know, the fragrance we have, have from an Armenian uh, brand. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. From yeah. Um, Armand Manukyan. <laughs> yes. I mean, if if your nose is up for it, I mean, we've got, I think, seven of them. So we can speak about maybe a few of them. We can speak maybe two, three or so, shall we? Well, I will only nod because I do not have a, I do not have them with me here. I have them all in, uh, ah, in London. Okay. But, uh, please do, please. Ah, no. No, I, I have to do this. I'm going to have to do this sampling with you guys a bit later on, but I have these fragrances and they are from a house out of Armenia and the I'm, again, I'm trying to focus on the camera. Jesus Christ, I'm not winning <laughs> here. But this is a, I give up. I give up. I'm going to, yes. I'm on Manukian. Manukian. Yes. We are going to, so these, I think I'll, I'll arrange a day in the week when we can sample these together because they are quite interesting. And, oh, you should hear the names. There is Aldehyde uh, Rock. There is the cure animal and there is citrus shine there is also a fuge hedonist and we have a chypre decadence as well as dark wood wood dark and oriental road so and and obviously bearing in mind the fact that they are coming from Armenia, I'm quite interested because I didn't have a chance to sample them yet. And I'm thinking I may even have to put them, I think, in my other bottles because I have a thing about having to take this off and start dabbing. I would rather spray. So we'll see. I'll probably arrange all that before I. <laughs> Let's do it in so, yes, and Maybe um, in London, when I'm back to London. Yeah, we'll we can it on I'm looking for the for the egg hidden in Olga's half shell. <laughs> keep looking, uh, keep looking. You might get lucky. You might see it. And uh, we are not rushing. Uh, um, no, uh, we have nowhere to go. Yeah, thanks to lockdown, I guess, especially now. It's not like, oh, I'm going to pop out, mm -hmm. go to speak some francis okay <laughs> oh that's uh, brilliant that's a good one i mean and the oh, yeah, yeah. is amazing Andrew, thank, you for, thank you for writing down the name thank you Absolutely. oh uh, oh sam yeah. sam are you here oh sam yeah, <laughs> sam is <laughs> 
Yes, I know. Dub as I nightmare. Yeah, I don't really like uh, dubbing things. I, I rather prefer to have them in a spray bottle. And I think what I'm going to do before I come to speak about, I, mean, I could sample one or two, but I feel like before I I can speak about them. I would love to put them in containers which I've got. I may even just, uh, I need to spray them because it will be a nightmare for me to sit here fiddling to. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to put them in a container. And um, a night on the town in Thagame would be what a very. Ah, Olga, what can I say? One day in Soho, we thought the bad boys are girls <laughs> sam yeah. is in the house okay did you just notice sam is being here hello mr Oga. it's very nice you joined us so <laughs> yes so we can speak okay before before seeing as we are not going to talk about these fragrances let's speak about something else Oga, what fragrances have you been wearing recently because i'm i'm, I'm asking this question because i'm curious Yes, because I know that St. Petersburg is still very cold at the moment. So what have you been wearing? And as well, have you been wearing fragrances because of weather or maybe going with what's making you happy? What's making your fragrance wardrobe choices? What's on your list? Uh, well, I was, I was very curious about uh, fragrances, the, the way they sound in the cold weather, because when I came here, it was minus 20, 25, and the fragrances change a lot. So, okay, I feel uh, like I'm going to freeze to hear those <laughs> temperatures. Uh, well, do, have you heard about the tourist syndrome? Yeah. So the, the tourist syndrome is when it's plus 40 in Rome, you, you walk as if it was plus 20. So tourists seem not to feel neither heat nor no frost. So I kind of oh. have this syndrome. So it's so lovely for me to go out and to get to get a wow. little bit frozen because it's unusual. I know it's for the short time yeah. uh, and I will be very soon uh, back home in, well, in, in, in the warm room. When so we'll be sampling fragrances, roads will be open and your boy. <laughs> so I was very curious about uh, checking, uh, checking how they smell in the cold weather. And um, I had yeah. Chanel number no. five. And I know that Chanel was created for a, a, a very, very uh, cold weather. And it really sounds gorgeous. Yeah gorgeous uh, wow. when it's 20 it's it it smells like champagne it's awesome it just sparkles um wow. so knowing that i brought um uh does anybody know thomas from um ouch yes. 110 yeah ouch, um, one, one, yeah one thorn. yeah uh, this is a ship as well so I, I brought it here. I just and... received the sample of that, so I'll be sampling it. Let me see my sample. You carry on. Yeah. Yeah. So oh this is this is a really that. nice this is a really nice dry shipra, very autumn, very nice autumn fragrance. And yeah. I um I sprayed it on me uh well it's a little bit too uh, too bitter for my taste because I like sweeter perfumes. But anyway, it was there was a lot of tobacco in it. Tobacco, yeah. And and wood. Carry on. Oh, um, I'm trying to find that sample. Yeah, the same fragrance. Thank you to Lizzie. She sent nice. me a sample. So. Oh yes, yeah. good. So I was uh, absolutely. Um, I I brought some perfumes from Belgium. So did you find that one? Uh, uh, this is nice. It's lovely. Yeah. So uh, 
um, Olga, you thought that it was quite significantly different how it smelled in London and in St. Petersburg. Uh, yes, uh, also because of the, um, so the difference of humidity and the temperature makes uh, all the perfumes smell a little bit sharper. Yeah. So I, I tried this one, uh, you know it, and thank you, Anjum, yeah. for the bottles. I, I brought oh, them yes. to this is a lovely, Amazing. lovely, lovely uh, stunning, gorgeous. You, is that the you, ruby for yeah. her? This is a ruby for her. Yeah, yes. I spoke ruby. about them. Ruby for yes, for her. So, stunning, gorgeous. Yeah, so it's. I like um, even uh, Kohinua. Was it Kohinua? Oh, yeah. I'm saying that correctly. Oh, yeah, I Kohinua. love it. Uh, yeah. I think it's a blue, is it a blue oh, bottle? Oh Yes, I do have it. It's gorgeous. Show us some bottles, Anjan. These are the bottles we spoke about last time. Oh, look at that. This is a lovely bottle. Oh, I want. I want. Come to Mama. <laughs> Come to Mama. That is stunning. It was minus 30. We were in the Gulf yeah. of Finland. Uh, and before going to the restaurant, we decided to walk on the Gulf of Finland and yeah. see the uh, just because it's fun because you can never walk on the on the real Gulf of Finland, but when it's frozen, you can go till Finland. <laughs> so, uh, and wow. it was so, it was so delicate, um, sweet, like the you know when when you, when you bake something, there is a lot of sugar powder. So there was kind yeah. of a sugar powdery. Uh, flair about about this one, about this this perfume. Wow. I, I'm experimenting a little I bit. I can see. That. So I, I was That's wearing interesting. This. Oh, interesting. Wow. Uh, this is gorgeous. I know, I know John. John loves it too. Uh, so uh, I, I was love it too. And it's I love it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so this is it. Gorgeous. I'm too can't wait for them to open. Yeah, me too. Indeed. Not long now. They're absolutely stunning. Because the diamond that is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Love it's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> That is that is uh, really being brave, but wow. Okay, very interesting. That is quite interesting. Olga, I will tell you that I've never been in any place that is as cold. You're not you're yet. To join think, me next time. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm made for that. You can always stay in the hotel or uh, in a gorgeous hotel. And mm. watching Tim from, from the window. <laughs> or oh, you can wear some fur. Wow. Oh, we'll never yes, tell some chinchilla. Wearing fur. <laughs> I, I hope no one in here is from your men society. <laughs> or pet or anything like that. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I can't do cold. I mean, um, no. I mean, I can tolerate the cold, but not where it's minus state. That is no too much. <laughs> to come to the north. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not safe with the Russian. No. But Olga, I'm curious. I'm curious. Just, just, just a quick question: Is the code in Russia like the code here, where it's like code into your bones, or is it like uh, not as humid? Or I don't know. How is the code? Is it like really where you feel it underneath your skin, like ah! <laughs> you know? Um, because sometimes people coming from abroad, when they come here, they say that the British coldness is different to like the coldness for example maybe in Czech Republic or maybe in France or maybe in German you know 
Uh, I think the, the so problem I is don't uh, yes. Uh, when we are in the UK, we never dress properly. Mm. So every every I don't know every wind, um, every draft. This uh, is horrible. Yes, it's horrible. You know, I, I live between Highgate and Archway, so there is always wind in Archway. It's horrible. It's, oh my god! It's mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yes. So when you go out in Russia, you are properly dressed, and maybe your face can suffer. Uh, but if you wear mm. your scarf, you don't feel it that much. You need to protect your forehead when it's minus twenty because you can feel that. You stop thinking your brain is frozen. <laughs> but um, yeah, but anyway. speaking of which, Karina said he's seen people boiling a kettle in Russia and the water freezes as it comes out of the kettle. Oh my gosh, I'm even getting caught just to see this. <laughs> yeah, but, but anyway, no, you go. I went. I will wait for you here. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> It works for me. See you when you're back. <laughs> Maybe summertime. Anyway. Well, yeah, so, wow. Okay. So, so oh, Brookard, anyway, that was, uh, Olga, I want to thank you so much that you came on and uh, brought some sunshine from snowy St. Petersburg. See what I did there? Sunshine from snowy St. Petersburg. <laughs> Yeah, it was so fun. It was so fun, yeah. and I'm glad Such I didn't fun. get the English. <laughs> so, so well, then. well. So, Olga, is there anything that you would like to say to the audience before we wrap up? Uh, just um, stay safe, stay fragrant, and enjoy your working from home. And the 8th of March is just behind the corner, and we will be able to meet outside of our bubbles again. So, um, yeah, the life is coming no, back. And okay, you know what? I'm not looking forward to the 8th as the date when we'll be able to meet because just schools will be allowed, everything else is still not allowed to at mm. least in april isn't it so it's still but kids are going back to school next week <laughs> kids are going back to school next week which will be lovely they can see their friends and i don't have to homeschool that would be nice just to have a bit of a break because i never really chose teaching as a profession <laughs> I think I've become I should go into teaching now because I've had so much experience almost a year experience in teaching <laughs> I could apply for teaching and say experience oh yes I homeschooled for a year so <laughs> yeah oh well anyway um I want to say a massive thank you to you Olga for coming on for sharing all the these amazing stories and about all these fragrances um, thrilled and even more importantly so I want to thank you everybody for watching thank you so much I do appreciate your support you are always a great audience and Olga what can we look forward to at perfume days when things open up yes we can uh... Um, I, I miss our walks, uh, perfume walks, so much, and I do hope we can meet as soon as possible, and we can go to the to Harrods or to Mayfair, um, or to Covent Garden, and um, just enjoy the sunshine and a, a good fragrance as well. Absolutely. And uh, I too, I'm looking forward. I mean, if there's anything I'm looking forward to the most other than maybe even going to shop for clothes or for anything, I want that freedom to walk in a shop and just smell as much fragrance and take as many pictures and videos and enjoy myself and see my friends, 
sit down for a little drink, a bite to eat or whatever and just have amazing flag talks maybe in Mayfair hopefully we can go to Convent Garden because we were meant to but we didn't get to because of what happened so hopefully we're gonna make new memories because luckily the old memories sustained us <laughs> sustained us through this time we had something to look forward to we look and we're like oh I remember that time I wish I can go out but until next time for now enjoy this moment so Definitely, Harold Six Floor. We are. We definitely are going to be checking them out. And John, when John comes to London, we are def definitely taking him to Harold's because he needs to go and enjoy his uh, beloved Killians. <laughs> <laughs> John is literally the Killian ambassador. I'm not even joking. And if anyone has not seen John's video, which he did, it was a reels, I believe live and no he did a video he was talking about i think he's posted it on here on his channel he, john you can tell us he did a video about uh i don't know it was about love meetings and stuff and there were lots of killians there and so john is gonna find this lovely love of his life and because she starts wearing his killians that's it they have to part ways because he's not gonna share his killians <laughs> Yes, John has a channel, so do check it out, the, the scented uh, snowdrop. I'm going to write it here. He does post his videos, scented snowdrop, so you can check that out. That's John's uh, channel, and as well... Oga has a YouTube channel on here. It's the Perfume Desk, so you can still check it out as well. So everyone on here, feel free, promote yourselves. Anyone who has a channel going, check it out. The Centurion has a channel, obviously, Indecent. Everyone, feel free to go and just follow each other, support everyone. This is a community, and I'm grateful for this community, and it's lovely to have you all here. So I think I'll leave you to have a lovely evening and your highness i know that it's getting quite late for you but i doubt that you are going to hit that bed very soon <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's getting a bit late because now it's almost what god okay okay i won't even say the time it's already going to 10 o'clock for you so yes yeah. i just subscribe oh god you're great fun like me ah oh. Uh, thank you so much. Um, uh, great noses. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, and we shall see you very soon. So, guys, I have some videos coming up tomorrow. So I'll be seeing you tomorrow. And I shall see you very soon for some fragrance sampling. We've got some fragrance from Botnikov, some Allegredo to go through and lots of other very interesting niche fragrances and I'm so super excited for all these things to happen so I'll see you very soon Olga you've been amazing thank you for bringing so much joy you guys thank you for your support have a good evening everybody we shall see you soon take care Bye. and uh, you're great fun uh, thank you so much everybody thank you Thank Have you. a good evening. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.